It's Caleb with Stain and Seal Experts. We're on a little job site here in Nashville and we're masking things up, prepping it for a water-based stain project today. You'll see we've got a concrete pool and we've got a hardy board garage behind us. All of that's being masked. We've, we've wrapped up the furniture. We've basically took the, the legs of the furniture and raised it up and put the plastic under it and then stretched it across and either tied it, taped it, or, or uh, propped it down with some type of weight. And now Mike's over here, he's wetting all the, the concrete down. And the reason he's doing that is because if this plastic will stick to wet concrete. So while he's doing that, we've got our first piece of plastic across the pool up. He's gonna wet everything down. I'm using this fence here to tie my plastic off to, and I'm pulling strips out. And the way I'm holding my plastic uh, so I can do it by myself without having a, a second person hold it. So, so I'm just tying off the fence and that's basically giving me a second set of hands. So I just hold the plastic, I take it out of the box, and I just kind of stick my hands under it with my thumbs up, and I'm just going to pull strips. And I'll use these to mask across the pool later. So I just pull it, and, uh, and then I cut it off. And that's it. And once you get your plastic all pulled out across the pool, you can take the hose and you can wet all that plastic down and it works just like a squeegee. It takes all the air out from under and it'll make that plastic stick to the ground. So we'll do that and I'll let you take a look at it when we get that finished. So we're gonna pull the plastic down, they're finished over here. When you pull plastic, you always wanna pull the plastic down and leave it. You don't wanna drag it across the yard. You wanna bring a trash bag to the plastic so you're not tracking stain or overspray or anything like that anywhere. So we're just gonna pull this down, leave it, roll it up, put it in a pile, and we'll come back and get it with our trash bag. So we had some stain roll off of our plastic because our, con our concrete was wet and then it dried. And when we pulled the, the plastic up, we got some, got some stain on it. Looks like it's dried here. I'll show you a trick to get that up in just a few minutes. We're gonna get a wire brush, some water, soap and water and a wire brush. We'll probably do it. If it doesn't, we'll go to denatured alcohol. I'll check back in in a minute, give you a progress report. All right, we had to put a little elbow grease in it. We scrubbed it off. We actually used our degreaser and a pump up sprayer, put it on, used a wire brush, scrubbed it and rinsed it away. I don't like doing that, but it happens sometimes. And the problem was we waited to pick up our masking too long. We sprayed all the way around and then came back and hit it with a second coat because this is water-based. We should have uh, got to it a little sooner. We keep the concrete wet under our masking and that water just dries. And that's why the stain, when it got on it, was able to stick to it. So. If I had to do it over again, I would have got on this quicker. I would have kept water up underneath there, and then when we pulled the plastic, that wouldn't have happened. But we got it up, so better luck next time. Hello, everyone. I'm Michael with Stain Steel Experts, Restorative Wood Products. We're here in Middle Tennessee today, and I'm just going to talk to you a few things about uh, keeping stain and, and paint off of stuff that it's not supposed to be on. So uh, what we've done here is the framework is we just put blue tape all over it, and then we're going to have our guys come back and they're going to they're going to cut this in. It's going to you know reduce a lot of mess. Is really, what it's going to come down to. He's also got it on the inside of the hinges and stuff like that right here. As you can see in the background. What we've done is we've wet down the 
we wet down the air conditioning units and we put plastic over them just like we did on concrete sprayed over top of them as well with water and it keeps it down and uh, the overspray is not a lot here on this job but we just do that to protect ourselves and protect the customers equipment and uh, things that he's got for his home.